I'm really excited about this time and space in education. When I was in the classroom, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to clone myself. I felt there was so much to do and only one of me. And at Google, we've always been trying to elevate the educator so we can meet each child on a personalized level. And with AI, these products are becoming real today. One of the products I'm super stoked about is practice sets. When I was in the classroom, I spent all of this time trying to close the instruction, differentiation, assessment, reteach loop. If I came home from a really hard day at work, I didn't have the energy to grade the exit tickets, get the assessment data, and then find the resources to reteach the next day. What the team has done with practice sets is a young person could be doing an activity or an exploration, and in real time, in that moment of cognitive dissonance, find out what exactly wasn't working for them, and then get reteaching materials all within moments. We recently published two free online courses about AI. One we did in collaboration with Grow with Google and MIT Raise, and that's the Generative AI for Educators course. That course is product agnostic, and the goal for that course is to be a zero entry, super easily accessible course. The other course that we have is getting started with Gemini for Workspace. It's literally like, this is what this button does. This is what the feature can do. This is the power of it. This is how you access it. We also have a series on YouTube Shorts with our Google for Education champions. These YouTube Short videos of how might we use with AI. How might we change the classroom for the better utilizing AI. So they're little idea tidbits to kind of instigate your imagination with how you might use it. When I dig into my use of AI and I talk to more people, what I'm finding as is that it's actually enhancing my humanity. It's elevating my creativity. And the reason for that is I found that I spend so much of my time doing rote tasks that I don't get, get to the creative part of my brain or the creative part of my work product because I'm doing all the other pieces. So for an educator, you're spending all day like creating papers, you know, coming up with that one slightly different version of this lesson plan. So when it comes to thinking about building an aspirational project-based learning unit, you don't often have hours in the night. You're like, I'm gonna crash because I just graded 5,000 exit tickets. But imagine you could have AI cut through all the work and then give you a prompt once your brain is fried and you have that writer's block and you're like, I can't even think. Say, so give me a prompt to think about that project-based learning unit that sort of catalyzes the creativity and gets you started and gets your juices going. And it becomes almost like that spaghetti at the wall thought partner when you're alone at your kitchen table at one in the morning.